Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Before we even go deeper, I want to talk about the recent happening. I know it was one of the it was not one of the things that I planned to say. It was uh, it just came because it happened yesterday and, and many people were already talking about it. We are the foreign affairs minister. I don't know if it's foreign affairs minister, Mr. Stanley was found with the Chinese and he said he went to buy cement from the Chinese and because he went to buy cement they gave him calendar <laughs> and pen <laughs> this is not what we fought for I, I'm telling you the gospel truth. This is not what we fought for. We didn't, we didn't fight for this rubbish. We didn't fight for this type of nonsense. I am a business person. Apart from being a prophet, I have done a lot of businesses with the whites, with the Chinese, with the Indians, Somalians. I've done business with everybody. I know who Chinese are. I can assure you, Honorable Minister, that you are a corrupt human being. And that thing you went to do at the Chinese place was corruption. There was a deal that you signed with those people that you are not telling us about. In the first place, I want to ask you a question, Honorable Minister. We fought so hard to change the government. We, 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 we put down our life. We, we, a lot of things happened. We wanted to remove PF government because they were working with the Chinese. And Chinese are very corrupt people. And we won the election. And President HH appointed you to be a minister. How many drums of cement were you buying from the Chinese? What are you building or what are you building? Are you building a shopping mall or are you building a are you building a what are you building? As a minister that is receiving salary in Zambia from the money that the poor people are contributing and giving to you. Honorable, you cannot be able to buy cement from Zambian people even if there is a, even if the Chinese are selling at 60 and Zambians are selling at 70 if they are sacrificing their money to pay tax to keep you in office to make you drive those big cars you are driving including the Range Rover that you are driving you cannot top up that small money on top to support local businesses you went to buy cement from the Chinese. What happened with the Zambians that are selling cement? 
you are a corrupt human being there was a deal that you signed with those people this is what this is what this is what makes my heart bleed sometimes i don't talk the reason why i don't talk is because number one i respect hh so much and i love him the love that i have for him the love that i have for hh will not allow me to fight him i love him so much but you people that are have surrounded hh you are you are criminals i'm coming one after the other i'm asking you okay you went to buy cement well, what are you building why would you love to buy cement from the foreigners if if other people poor people are going to buy from there if other zambians that are selling as retailers are going to buy from there why don't you go and buy from zambians are you telling me that you are poor if you are poor you cannot be driving a range rover you are the first people that are supposed to be in line supporting local businesses you are the first people as a minister foreign affairs minister or whatever you are the first people that are supposed to be supporting local businesses it doesn't matter how much they 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 charge you for it because you are getting money you, you have a lot of money you are receiving look somebody that is selling on the street is paying tax they pay that even the person that is selling uh, the person that is selling cement on a retail uh, thing is, is paying tax the tax is what you are eating so it's hard for you to give a little bit eh? a little bit of what the, gov the government is paying you through the taxpayers to this young people to zambian people you prefer to buy from the chinese okay you are going to buy from the chinese you don't have a brother you don't have a pa in that picture there was no single black person that was with you it was just you and the chinese <laughs> what did you go to do it means you're a criminal there was a deal that you went to sign i want to tell president akainde that our patient is running out we do not want to fight your government your government to me is the best you are the best president that any country would ever have or desire to have you president akainde but the people that you are working with the people that you are working majority of them are criminals tell me somebody is going to buy cement there is no single black person in the picture just him and the chinese and you understand the chinese chinese operate with with the they, they know how to entice leaders with money people are saying no that is a briefcase no that is back but that doesn't even make sense there is no argument there is nothing like it's a it's a briefcase it's not a briefcase it's a it's a what it's a it's a it's a paper bag it's a gift bag there is no argument on that whether there was money in that bag there was no money that what is what is so alarming is the deal that was signed in that meeting president hh i trust you so much i don't know if you are aware of that deal if why not come out and open up to the people of zambia if there is a deal going on between zambia and the china because there is no way an honorable minister is going to buy a cement on that day a diplomat from the embassy was there on that day there was no permanent there was not even okay it's, it's you say it's your personal thing you went alone it's your personal thing you don't have helpers you don't have uh, you don't have uh, you don't have uh, people that you move with you went alone because you went to sign a crook deal this is not what we fought for we fought for sincerity 
up to today president akainde chilema is a, a man that i hold in high esteem but things like this are making us to lose hope on the hope that we built that aside the reason why we brought in the government is because we believe that we are coming to fight corruption zambia is bleeding people of zambia are crying because there is so much corruption going on and pa, 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 by the grace of god you found faith everybody was just happy everybody was you know there was celebration in the land of zambia people we are all happy all of a sudden you carried you entered an agreement with faith people of zambia don't know that agreement i see a one today i don't know that agreement there is no one that can say they know the type of agreement you entered with a criminal somebody that stole over 65 million kwacha 65 million kwacha you entered an agreement you took the money faith that money that you took from her the house that you took from her is not the only loot that she has she still has millions upon millions you entered in a secret agreement with her eh? and then you took the money and then let her go and today faith can go anywhere she wants faith can do anything she wants after stealing millions millions upon millions from the people of zambia are you really willing to fight corruption or should we look for another person that will fight for corruption where is faith where is faith eh? where is faith faith is moving up and down and your uh, the leadership or the government of UPN had the audacity to suspend and blacklist innocent children that we are just dancing nurses these girls did not commit any crime they were just dancing they are young this is what is as time goes on life is like this things if we see tiktok has come facebook has come most of the laws that we are made many years ago are no longer effective now because this is a young generation these children we are just dancing in their uniform they didn't commit any crime you blacklisted innocent poor children because they are poor but criminal that stole billions is free to move everywhere and do any type of business she wants you didn't consider the pain of these innocent children the pain that their parents pass through raising money to take them to school eh? you just wake up and blacklisted them you can you cannot study anywhere you cannot practice anywhere because they are poor what did you do to reach person faith musonda is faith musonda not a free person after stealing billions no one knows the agreement what is going on eh? no one up to now this is this this is exactly how we started with eddie galungu eddie galungu was coming up well but the deal with the uh, ambulance came people of zambia we are crying inside how did this deal happen what what exactly happened what went wrong what happened and then the galunga and his people they were hiding it hiding it hiding it and it was piling up in the heart of the people of zambia as i'm talking to you today president hs there is no one on earth that can tell you the truth more than c1 can tell you people of zambia are piling a lot of things in their hearts and it, it can be like a time bomb they need explanation into many things what was the deal that was entered with faith to make a criminal like her move up and down with freedom when innocent young children that were that we are just dancing got got totally banished and blacklisted from practicing nurses they didn't commit any crime they were just dancing there is no one who said don't dance even in catholic church the most respected church today reverend fathers are even dancing and posting it on twitter 
then children have danced, you blacklist them because they are poor. Is this what we fought for? We did not fight for the rich to come and become richer. We fought so that the poor can benefit. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.